In this video I'm going to demonstrate more in depth the Inventory app and its capabilities. So Inventory app is free and it's available on Clover and it has interface that's available on a Clover device as well as interface that's available on the web when you log into your Clover account. Across all of your devices, your entire inventory list will sync. So here's my flex, and here's my inventory list here. Here's my station, and here's my inventory list here. These things will completely sync up in real time. Uh, so if you make a change here, it will appear here. If you make a mass update on the web, uh, where you download the entire spreadsheet of all of your items through the web account on your Clover. You can make changes in that Excel spreadsheet and then re-upload uh, that account, uh, that Excel spreadsheet back into your Clover, thus modifying in mass your item list. And whatever changes you've done on any of those devices, they will automatically propagate through the rest of your devices. And uh, that happens in real time. So inside item, you have such fields as uh, product uh, item name, alternate item name. This can be printed uh, on an order uh, in another language, for example, because you can you know, download other languages here. Um, you have price types, right? So price type, uh, fixed price is for items that have a predetermined price and uh, uh, it doesn't change. Per unit is if you're charging, uh, let's say, for items that need to be weighed. Um, and variable pricing is something, uh, for example, that changes based on market conditions or other uh, variable uh, scenarios. So it's good to have. And so if you change it to variable, for example, the price goes away and the customer or merchant is prompted every time this item is selected. Uh, item cost is not the same as item price. Cost is your cost uh, to you. Uh, so this is not the retail price, this is cost uh, that you are paying. Product code and SKU are the two fields that can be used for barcode reading. Uh, if you're stocking uh, and tracking inventory, we suggest just putting in the product code and the SKU. And if you don't have the different uh, need for different numbers, just put in the same number in both. Then you have the ability to assign this item to certain categories, labels, uh, whether or not you want this item to be shown in register. Um, you have the ability to set up modifiers and taxes or indicate that this is a non-revenue item. All right, and you can delete this item by clicking on this trash can right here at the top corner. I'm gonna cancel a lot of this. Uh, categories are something that you can create and then it shows up on the item and you can assign your items to your categories. Modifiers are something that uh, shows up during the transaction when you select an item. Again, you assign modifiers to your items, but modifiers can be used, for example, let's say you're a pizza shop and you charge extra for your toppings. So you, have a, you can have a modified group toppings and then you can just put in all of your toppings in that uh, modifier group with an additional fee for each topping. And so Merchants will select that uh, during the transaction. They'll ask the customers what the customer wants, and whatever topic they select, they add, and that changes the price. Labels is something that's used for the reporting, and we have other uh, videos that sort of cover these, all of these things in more detail. Uh, but basically, that's a little bit of... Um, so the only other trick I kind of want to show you, so if you go into categories and you have some items, right? Uh, this is a pretty common question. So here's your items that are assigned to your meat category. You can, for example, grab this sirloin here and put it at the top of the list. And so then in a register app, when you're, when you, during the checkout process, it's easier for you to find item or you can basically have control over how this item is selected on your list. Uh, and that helps speed up the checkout process. So there's a little bit of info about uh, inventory app.